Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to give you a few ideas to quickly estimate roof square footage as well as the linear feet on some key dimensions, such as the valleys and eaves and the ridges. So the first thing to talk about is we needed a, um, a fairly simple sketch of the um, the building layout is the inner contour and the outer contour represents the uh, two foot overhang of our roof. So using that sketch we also used uh, a second sketch um, in which we drew the slope of the roof just using um, uh, the triangle with uh, 12 inches to 5 inches and by dimensioning the complementary angle of that uh, this dimension is the one we're going to take advantage of in a simple boss extrude. So we create a boss and um, this angle, um, in order to link this angle to sketch 4, uh, just in case the value changes, let's do that uh, through an equation, tools, equations, and we'll say um, for this dimension here, uh, I want to link you to, and let's go grab our uh, sketch four uh, dimension here. And there we go. And so now uh, this is a very flexible model. If our rise over run changes, uh, let's say we had a um, 412 roof. Okay, that will now drive uh, our angle in our boss extrude. Okay, so for the second part of this, um, we needed a, a real easy way to uh, get some measurements and a, a place to view them. Uh, and it turns out that sensors is the best way to do that. So we created sensor measurements uh, for the valley for the eaves, for the ridges. Let me show you how that's done. Um, let's add the square footage. So we'll just simply go to the measure tool and uh, right out here at the right you can say create a sensor. Um, and we will go with, uh, make sure we're in feet. Um, I'm going to pick the major faces of our roof here uh, that will give us the square footage. and. Um, we're told it's about 1827 feet so we'll make sure that we save this as our sensor and um, we'll rename this using F2 or slow left mouse click and we'll call this uh, total square footage and so that's the way this is set up and hopefully you can use this um, maybe in your own roof project uh, it wasn't very difficult to set up and we've got all the major measurements here for valleys and eaves and ridges and total square footage and this is a very flexible model now if we needed to change the outline uh, or the slope we've got those in sketch two and four thanks for watching this quick tip video my name is Tim Roberts mm -hmm.